you like that one? Now, how do I make these beautiful, perfectionist, professional, goofy ass intros that you enjoy every single time I post? I would tell you, but it's definitely not CapCut. But one person I would never tell or share any secret with is Aiden Ross. Because bro is streaming 24-7 and even in his personal stuff that he needs to keep private, sometimes it just splits. Sp 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 the fuck up? S slips out. I forgot English. Andrew Tate got arrested because Aiden read something he shouldn't have read on the stream like a few days ago. Let me, let me show you the video. Um... Andrew had hit me up. He said, hey, I'm going to be uh, leaving Romania soon and probably never coming back. If you want to come over and do a week of long streams and content before I leave, I think it'll be big. And it's never. It's. I'm sorry. He said it's not. It's basically now or never. And thanks to the clip hunters out on the Internet, they clipped it. It went viral. And it caught some of the lawyers out, the the people who do, who do not like Tate attention and they warranted for his arrest basically what tate wanted to do do a one week uh, viral contents with aiden he texted him in private do a viral content with aiden and be like boom disappear with the plan and then he moves on with the next stage of his life which you know he wanted to make a good exit and then start have a good start in like a different country you know but aiden was like guys he's making internet he's making exit Catch him! Catch him before he goes! After Andrew saw the video that Aiden read his text live on stream, he went full rampage mode on Aiden, Ray, uh, Aiden Ross. Uh, you deserve it, you piece of shit. That's why uh, Pammy left you. Pammy never loved you. And, you know, said some horrible things to Aiden. That's what I'm guessing what happened offline. But <laughs> this is the arrest warrant that they got that was filed by lawyers Matthew, managing partner at Makijuri Malabar Partners. And he said, we contacted the British police to alert them of this and immediately issue a warrant for his arrest in Romania and deportation to UK. Jack Beeston, one of the lawyers, tells the affiliate that they saw a video on social media platform X where it appears that Tate told a streamer profile Aiden Ross that he will leave Romania soon and not come back. The lawyers are representing Tate's four alleged British victims. Accusations in the Great in Britain related to sexual uh, assault, whatever, uh, in the year of 2012 and 2015. Imagine they dig this much into your past and they bring something that we, we don't know if it's either there or not. Maybe it was created. Maybe Tate touched uh, a girl in a wrong way and then she was like, oh! sexual assault and even the last accusations that he had last year in ramadan around the same time he got released i believe in ramadan he went to jail december 2022 the accusations were the same thing as well the i don't know trafficking he did grape all these things and after three months of spending in jail they released them they're still uh, investigations going on about what's happening but what it looks like is a couple of females that were hanging out with tate before and tristan they see an opportunity to grab some cash to get some lawsuits. Get some lawsuits. Oh, Tate did this to me. Or the higher authorities, the so-called elites, are paying these women to come up with cases, random stories in their heads. Or maybe Tate, again, touch them here. And they're like, oh, you jail, you go to the court and you get arrested and these things. This is the video of Andrew and Tristan Tate taking back to the same prison cell. Under what? Under a UK warrant and for them to be sent to UK to answer to these charges that happened a decade ago. And for them to go to court to start the case to again go through this whole process the UK requested for the Romanian government to keep them inside the same prison cell until their court date. And when is their court date going to be? It depends. One year, two years, three years. And they requested for them to stay in the same spot because of a word that they heard from someone. You know? Doesn't make sense. The system is a joke. It's like someone comes and be like, you, like you watching right now. It's like you did something to me 10 years ago. I have no proof or evidence, but you did this to me. And the government is does everything in their power to capture you and put you behind the cell for one to three years until your court date comes and will we'll decide either you're guilty or not. That is absolutely a joke. And thankfully, the Romanian judge who was taking their case saw that and they decided to 
released them after a few hours and they gave a statement. Fortunately, I don't think many people in Romania understand, but in the West, in the countries that are owned by the Satanists, you move to a certain level of fame, you either put on a dress or you go to jail, and I'm happy to make my choice, which is jail every single time. My soul is not for sale, neither are my principles. We are well, innocent agree. men. No, we're very innocent men, and in time, everybody's going to see that, and we're very excited to finish this judicial process. Wow. In now, I don't know if these allegations are true or not, but the way you know Andrew t uh, talks about it is they do they you say something you put the uh, what the wrong image in someone's mind you wake them up from the image that the elites have been selling you this whole time and you wake up Andrew is the person who wakes you up to reality and they don't like that they want people to keep on watching Hollywood movies and be zoned out and not realize what's actually happening around the world or it can be like they're actually doing illegal things and their their cover-up is to blame the matrix but from the way it looks like they have no evidence against Andrew and Tristan Tate and they are free to go and they're doing everything in their power to bring them down so the ball is on Andrew's court right now. But even though there's a lot of people, especially a woman, they don't like him. One person I definitely know who likes him a lot is my dad. <laughs> I don't, my dad doesn't know him. They're, first of all, they're both bald, right? A shaped head that they uh, see you under the sun. You're going to get blind from the reflection. But I told my dad about him and I was like, yo, he thinks woman cannot drive. Immediately he was like, I like this guy. This guy, very he understands how things work in the world. I was like, okay, that, okay. <laughs> the fault of Romania. This is not. This one is not. This came straight from the United Kingdom, my home country, contacted the Romanians with no intention of extraditing me, with no intention of flying me to England to face questioning or for an open investigation. They contacted Romania and told Romania to do its dirty work. They told Romania to do their bidding, to put these two boys in jail without a trial. I'm going to explain to you how this works. Romania has a system called preventative detention. If you're a suspect of a crime, they could put you in jail before you get a chance to explain yourself in court. That's why me and my brother did three months in jail last year. England doesn't have this. They were saying, look, Romania, he's a dangerous criminal because we allege he did something to somebody in 2012. I don't even know who I allegedly did anything to. There's no name on the paper. No name. So yeah, basically what they're saying is UK wanted them to, you know, be held in Romania because Romania law makes them, keeps them until they they have a chance to prove that they're not actually guilty. And Andrew Tate says, first, they warn you, they they ban you, second, they throw you in jail, and th like the third time, they're going to unalive you. But what Andrew is doing is being very careful with what he says. You know, he's like coming up, being relevant, and then he's being irrelevant a little bit. He's dying. Then he's coming up, up and down. So he will avoid getting unalived by these kind of people, basically. And he also predicted it, I think, what, a few months ago, that the UK government is against him and they will do anything they can to find something on him. And just even they pre they think of something, they're going to take it down on him and they're going to put him in jail. And I'll say this publicly. As we speak right now, the UK is trying to put me in jail. England, because Romania has failed, so England has picked up. And England's coming up to me with all this garbage and they're going to try and charge me soon with some imaginary crime. Why are they going to charge him? Because a lot of uh, Andrew and Tristan, they have a lot of fans in um, UK and even in schools. Imagine it is banned to talk about Andrew and Tristan. If you talk about, you say top G in your class, you're going to detention. You might even get expelled. It is uh, forbidden to uh, think to mention their names because they are the devils. <laughs> and he's definitely not going to share anything with Aiden anymore. Bro, Andrew regrets his friendship with Aiden. I'm kidding. Obviously, he doesn't regret his. He actually have a podcast coming up in a few hours. But he's definitely not going to tell him his exit or interest plans or any big plans he has. Because let's face the fact, if Aiden Ross gets caught in something, government, crime, whatever, he is the first person who is going to snitch. He will sell his own brother or if he has a brother, I don't know. I've never seen anyone more snitchier than Aiden Ross. He looks like the second they catch him, he's going to be like, he did it, I swear, I swear to God, he, I didn't do anything. <laughs> and then Aiden goes up and apologizes to Andrew. Really, really fucked up. And Andrew Tate's team confirmed that I fucked up and Tate told me, right? I fucked up and thank God he did not get put back in there because I would have felt really guilty. Tate had spoke to me and he said, dude, 
Just come to Romania. I want to give my, my people and your people what they want to see. Let's do some content. You're okay, and I forgive you. Because I apologize. I felt really bad bro if aiden ross disappears we all know what happened to him maybe this whole thing can be like come come teddy's like come come to romania i want to show you a few tricks and we can only we're only going to be talking then a week later we're going to find uh aiden's body somewhere. <laughs> obviously not obviously not they're going to talk chill Imagine if it's actually true. Well, now they're going to talk about the situation and Tate is definitely going to give Aiden a lesson about keeping his mouth shut and knowing the difference between when to be in, you want the things to say in public, on the internet, whatever, and the things to, that should be read and said off the camera. This whole thing was funny, man. You know, I just some streamer gets you arrested and then put in jail for the, like three years. That would have been fucked. But yeah, anyways, just wanted to share that information with you. If you think that information was very useful, hit that subscribe button and like button and stay tuned for my next dope-ass YouTube intro. Take care of yourself. I'll see you at the next one.